What? That's why Jesus is like, they pushed them uh, off. No, they were you gotta do this. That's not what he condemned them for. He actually said, yes, I agree. He, he actually said, do as they say, but not as they do. Because they sit on Moses' seat. That's what Jesus said. So he wasn't that they were teaching people to do the wrong thing. It's that they themselves were hypocritical. They were, they were hypocritical, self-righteous judgments, yes. So if we're the fascists, why are all the corporations? Correct, yes. They had the outward form of, of religion, but they didn't have the heart. I don't think I know everything. I think I'm right about certain things, like it's wrong to murder innocent human beings. Yeah, including these ones in the womb. What, what am I doing to dehumanize them by saying that they can be forgiven? Okay, so how much do I have to hate somebody if I think they're going to spend an eternity in hell for the crimes they've committed against God and to not warn them against about that? How much would I have to hate somebody? So that's it. So you, the you have to consider the high choice truth, but you're choosing truth, and that's the truth. So that's not my I truth. I, 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 I deny the my truth, your truth idea and worldview. Some some truths are contradictory, and they can't both be true. What if your truth is your truth, and my truth? What if my truth says that your truth is a lie? It's still true. That's called murder. If my truth says that your truth is a lie, is my truth still true? No. What makes yours true? What makes yours true then? So there is an objective standard of truth. So we can't both and how do we find that objective standard and come to terms with one another? What's our source of truth is what I'm asking. The what? But where do we get the truth about Jesus from? But that's just subjective feelings. We could be wrong. Hitler thought he was living. The Bi the Bi for example, the Bible says the heart is, is deceitful above all things. Who can know it? So if the heart is deceitful, how can we trust in it? The Bible actually has a lot to say about those who trust in their heart rather than trusting in the Lord. In other words, happy going to hell. That's what Christ that's what they're Said, telling you. Grace given freely. You don't have to do anything to do it. Oh, there's nothing you can do to earn the grace of God. There's nothing that you can do to earn the grace of God. The question isn't whether or not, that was what the Pharisees did. They, they, they thought they could earn righteousness. You can't earn righteousness. It's given to you. It is the free gift of God of eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. The question is, is it applied to everyone indiscriminately? And what's the proof that it's been applied to your life? So like, so like, just for example, okay, in 1 John 5, 13, he says, I write this to you, brothers who believe, so that you may know you have eternal life. So that's why John wrote the book of 1 John 5, 13, okay? Now, if you go to 1 Corinthians 13, 5, just cross the numbers, 13, 5, instead of 5, 13, he says, examine yourselves to see if you're in the faith, unless, of course, you think you'll fail the test. Okay, so what's the test? Have you ever read 1 John? Totally fine. I understand. First John is a really good book if you want to test yourself to see if you're in the faith. Because that's why John wrote it. He literally says, I write this to you, brothers, who believe, so that you may know you have eternal life. And that's where he says things like, if we go on sinning, the truth is not in us and we deceive ourselves. So if we just go on, just like, I'm for, I believe, live, live in sin, freely live in sin, it's okay, God loves me. John says that's evidence that the truth is not in us and we deceive ourselves. But he also says, if I say I have no sin, the truth is not in me and I deceive myself. I'm not saying I'm without sin. The only difference is how is my sin paid for? How is it atoned for? And is there evidence of rebirth and new life in me or not? Right? And proud, a proud spirit is evidence. I mean, love is not proud. It does not boast. But yet, this is all about pride and boasting. So if love doesn't boast and if love isn't proud... It's celebrating sin and licentiousness. It's celebrating a portion of humanity that, what do we say? God loves all! God loves all! God loves all! Yeah, 
Yes, God loved us and sent a son to save us. God is also jealous. He's also full of wrath. Judgment. And judgment. Love is only one attribute of God. God judges you by what's underneath. 